Hi, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in the heart of Venice, and there's, uh, it's just everywhere you look, there's touristic dreams coming true. And that means there's a lot of tourists in this town. Something very, very big in Venice is the masks. And if you step into a mask shop, you see it's just a, a forest of beautifully painted um, masks that uh, have quite an interesting tradition. Originally, masks were uh, functional. The doctors during the plague would have a mask that was, uh, what is it? The mask was like this one here. And uh, it would hold herbs in there in, uh, in the hopes that that would filter the air so the doctor who was checking plague victims would not catch the plague. And then another mask that goes way, way back centuries before any of the tourism and so on was this simple mask here. And this mask just covers half of your face and it would be worn with a black three-cornered hat and a cape. And this is so people of respect could go out and do things that were not respectful. Go to the casino, uh, go to the brothel, be out with somebody you're not supposed to be with. They would walk around with that mask covering their face. Of course, masks were also part of carnival celebrations. So people could, you know, what happens in Venice stays in Venice during carnival, and people could enjoy the anonymity of a mask. The tradition pretty much died out after the end of the Republic when Napoleon took over Venice. And uh, then, in the 1970s, when students were being crazy, like they were all over the world, hippies in Venice decided to go out and do all sorts of crazy things, and they started wearing masks. And merchants, business people, realized, hey, this is a potential big business. So the modern-day tradition of all these over-the-top masks really was co-opted from the crazy students of Venice back in the 1970s and today. Tourists, when they come to Venice, they'll go into these shops and they'll enjoy picking up a souvenir that actually has a historic foundation. When you're in Venice, you'll want to check out the masks, along with lots of other cliches of this amazing culture.